Hi, in this video, I'm looking at this problem here where we've got a supermarket, the service time through a checkout can be modeled using an exponential distribution with parameter lambda equals 0.3 and time is measured in minutes. And we want to work out the probability distribution function for this distribution, the expected waiting time for a customer to be served, the cumulative distribution function for this distribution, the probability that a customer will be served in the next five minutes and the average rate of customers being served. So let's start with part A. Part A is nice and easy. The probability distribution function of a probability is given by a function in terms of time of lambda e to the negative lambda t. So our PDF for this question this problem where because we have lambda equals 0 0.3 we're going to have 0 0.3 e to the negative 0 0.3 times t and that's it that's our pdf part b the expected waiting time of a probability distribution or of a variable is given by one on lambda. So we're going to have 1 on 0 0.3. And so our expected waiting time or expected value is going to be, well, 1 on 0 0.3 is 10 thirds, or if we want a decimal, it's going to be 3.33 minutes, which we can actually work out is 3 minutes and 20 seconds. So your expected wait time, the expected value, is going to be just over three minutes. Part C is the CDF. Now the CDF, the cumulative distribution function, is given by one minus e to the negative lambda t. And so we've got lambda of 0 0.3, so we're going to have one minus e to the negative 0 0.3 t and that's all we have to do so our cdf of time is that function now part d part d is where we got to do a little bit extra work part d we want the probability that a customer customer will be served in the next five minutes so we're at t now so t whatever it happens to be and we want to know between here and t plus 5, what's going to be the probability that someone's going to be served in that time? And it's convenient we have the CDF, the cumulative distribution function, because that's what gives it to us for our answer. So the CDF gives us the probability from time t up to time t plus some other time that's actually given by the cdf of that other time so for us our probability that time is between now and the next five seconds is going to be the cdf of five which is going to be one minus e to the negative 0 0.3 times by 5. And so we can work that out, and that gives us a probability that you're going to be served the next five minutes of 0 0.77687. So we can write our answer, therefore, the probability that a customer will be served in the next five minutes is... And we'll change it to a percentage, 77.69%. Now the last part, part E, which is to work out the average rate of customers being served per minute. So if we think about a rate, so we want the rate of service, basically. So we want a rate of service. So if we think about our rate, we want how many customers are we getting through each minute? Now, we know the expected waiting time means that each customer is expected to wait about 3 minutes and 20 seconds, or 10 thirds of a minute. 
So we know that we've got 10 thirds minutes per customer. We know that each customer gets served within 10 thirds of a minute, but we want to know customers per minute because that's what our rate is, is customers per minute. So I actually want the reciprocal of this. So I'm going to have one on that 10 thirds, flip it upside down. So our rate of service, our rate per minute is going to be three tenths, which means that we have 0 0.3 customers per minute. So the rate of customers being served is well, 0.3 customers per minute is, I guess, the correct answer. So we're going to serve 0.3 customers per minute. But maybe we should also write how many customers we can fit through in 10 minutes. So that would be times by 10. So we'd get about three customers every 10 minutes. And so that would be our answer there. So there we go. We know the probability density function, PDF, is lambda e to the negative lambda t. We know the expectant value for a probability is 1 on lambda. And the cumulative density function is given by 1 minus e to the negative lambda t. And it's useful for giving us the probability from a starting time now to a next interval. What's the probability that something will happen within there? And we can use some of this obtained information to also evaluate rates of things happening if we think about our rates properly.